for a few minutes here while Tom Verducci gets set up. We'll talk to him. He's covering the series, of course. So Travis Sawchick wrote an article, and he's great. He's super detailed, very smart. He's been on our show before. Wrote an article for The Score about how there's a lot of talk about what MLB payroll looks like, and there's no salary cap, and casual fans come in, like, how does this all get broken down? So what he did was uh, take MLB payroll and then factor in how teams are uh, making money and spending it, okay? And he called it the MLB Scrooge Index. Ranked by revenue, Scrooge Index is the percentage of revenue spent on payroll. He has the Yankees at making $720 million per year, and their payroll is $376 million. He has the Dodgers. So, And I'm, I'm assuming on the payroll, payroll front and, you know, there's there's other factors here. It's not just just the players, right? This is what they're spending on their team because technically people are going to look at this like these numbers are a little little hot, like for the Mets. They're not 450, but you're factoring in how how much it costs to run the franchise. Yankees revenue is almost two and a half times greater at 720 million than the 24th ranked Cleveland Guardians at 295 million dollars. And the Guardians, obviously, were the you know David versus Goliath in that last yeah. series. The Mets are the team that stands out here because they've got them at 441 rev, 450 payroll. As it should be. Mm-hmm. As it should be. Uh, listen, the, Steve Cohen wants to win. He's going all in. The Yankees, they want to win. Now, they don't match. The, listen, if the Yankees had, what is it, $700 million payroll, it, come on, they're not going to do that. There's other things that go into it, right? But I feel like the Dodgers, the Yankees, the Red Sox are the one that's a little questionable to me, but the Astros have been paying. The Cubs could spend more. The Braves spend a lot. The Phillies spend a lot. The Rangers spend a lot in one, right? The, 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 the thing that stands out to me is the Mets, man. If you're a Mets fan, you got to love Steve Cohen. I mean, even John Middleton, listen, he's not going over his revenue, but it's pretty awesome when the, when they match up a little bit better. You know, then you look at some teams like the Mariners, three seventy four to one sixty three. Like, come on, forty four percent on the Scrooge Index. Scrooge Index has a lot to do with fans liking or hating who's running their franchise. It's it's often tied to that case because they know what's going on. They're in the market. Obviously, they don't see the books, but they understand where their team's at. Most fans, I think, are realistic on where their team's at, and they just. This is actually a really good indicator. They want to see mm-hmm. a healthy number in here, especially a number that's over 50%. And, yeah, you're right. The Red Sox are at 40%. How about the Cubs, 43%? It's very low. Red Sox, they, they, you know, they, they're not a big market. Cubs aren't a big market. Come on. You made $500 million. $541 million. <laughs> but why are we – but why – like, look at who these teams – who these teams have picked up. Every team had an opportunity to pick up not everybody had an opportunity to get Aaron Judge. Okay, I get that. He was dra- he could have been drafted. You know that he's a homegrown player from the Yankees. Everybody had an opportunity to get Juan Soto this offseason. Didn't want to give up their. We could be talking about the Orioles right now because they had Juan Soto in their lineup. Didn't want to give up their prospects. Mookie Betts was available out there. I get it. He got extended. He was available at some point. Didn't want to give up their prospects who are now you know. Connor Wong, that's all that's left in the in the Red Sox trade for Mookie Betts. Like, these guys were available for the most part. Teoscar Hernandez has a one-year deal. Like, Tyler Glass now got traded. Yes, I know, he signed an extension, but he got traded to the Dodgers. Every one of these teams has an opportunity to do that. They don't want it as bad. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if they don't want it as bad. Well, their their leadership doesn't want it. <laughs> I don't know. It as yeah. Bad. I mean, not wanting it. You can't really put this on the players. Even a lot of times the no, GM. No, no, no. Not me, players. No, he's he's not putting players. it on the owner. But yeah, it's the owner, though. The Scrooge index. Because, yeah. yeah, because the GMs, I guarantee if you went to if you went to the GM of I don't even know who it is, the GM of pick a team. The, I don't know, the, uh, the twins. Okay. You go to Derek Falvey, right? And you say, Hey, Derek, you know. We'll give you an unlimited budget. The Twins are making four hundred million. Your budget is eighty million. He's I guarantee he wants it to be four hundred million. Yeah, that's the point. So it's it's one. So it's one not person. really any. Yeah, there's really only thirty people you can blame for this. Correct. 
I mean, even the yes. Braves who are publicly traded Liberty Media, they're they're look how high there is. There's this, right? They they're good. They spend. Mm -hmm. You know, they rewarded their guys. That's what I think fans are looking for. John see, Middleton, right, with what he's doing. See where the White Sox are at here. Okay, so this is one thing that's interesting to me because Jerry Reinsdorf have always said we always we break e I break even on baseball every year. Yeah. Well, if you made two hundred eighty-eight million and you spend one hundred thirty-three or one hundred fifty, somehow now I mean I don't understand. Am I missing taxes? Am I missing something here? Because uh, we also know this this isn't their total books because right. you know we all know teams like have offshoots of everything, right? Correct. Uh, yes. So I mean, if you're making two eighty-eight and you're only spending one thirty-three. That doesn't seem like you're breaking even. It seems like you're making about $150 million. Oh, in, I don't in the end of the article, in, in the end of Travis's article, he put down the only publicly traded company that we know besides the Blue Jays because then they cook their books completely different so nobody can see it because it's up in Canada. The Braves, we see their financials. And yes. they're at like a 4.8% profit, profit, percent profit each year. Which, if you're talking about owning like a big mega company, that's not great profit. So they're showing that you're not technically business wise, you're not making a huge profit, but you're accruing your assets during that entire time and growing that huge, huge network of what the team is, let alone the fact you own a team. The point is to win, not to turn like a 20% profit every year. Yeah, but here's the thing that 4.8% you're talking about. That doesn't include everything. That only includes what they, you know, what there, the there also is own? an offshoot, maybe Braves parking, the battery parking, or, yep. you know, the Omni mm -hmm. Hotel. That's not included, it, even though Liberty is, is yes, they're showing us their books. They're not showing you everything. No, no. Right? Because I remember I played for the Giants. Yeah. And they said before the season started, the whole payroll and everything was already paid for from just the signage and the, and the, rev, and the ad stuff they had in the ballpark. Yep. And then so they still got parking from a different company concessions from a different company, mm -hmm. this from a different company, this from a different company. So they were like, oh, we're breaking even. No, you're actually making a lot of money. It's Correct. just not in this. So what the teams do is they take this much and say, this is our budget, and then they get their profit from somewhere else. So then they can tell the fans, oh, I'm breaking even when really we're not. Correct. Yeah. So you're it's talking all a about show just, game. just the, it is. It's a like show every game. big business. So they all do it. Yeah. Every, every business, Finagling. even small businesses do it. They mm -hmm. try to move stuff around to try to make it to where they have to do less. Yeah. And there, there's obviously there's, there's TV money, national, local, there's uh, gate, you know, and then yes, you get into a lot of specifics. Teams often will, will invest in a property or something around the ballpark, put that on the team. Then once it's in a good spot, you branch that off. Now it's its own business. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of craftiness involved. And the moral of the story always is the same that you're going to have fans complaining this time of year, and they're right, most of them. You do deserve a better situation, and I just always hope that we continue to get in a better situation with the next leadership that is taking over teams that get bought. I mean, here, here's the job for the league, because I will say this, like Commissioner Manfred and the rest of the league, they can't control who is owning these teams and who's making decisions. But what they can do is have a big say on where the next owner comes from right? Because it's got to get approved. They can talk to the rest of the owners. Hey, this is a good guy to have because you want people like Steve Cohen, Mark Walter for the Dodgers. But some of them don't want those guys in. Steve Cohen was a hard they make sell. them look bad. Yes. Correct. So it's a hard sell. Like they're like, oh, we'll take Bob Nutting. But it's so much better for business. <laughs> it is. The but, what, but the owners are like, oh, we can get Bob Nutting in here and he won't spend and he'll make all this profit and he'll make the rest of us look great because we're out spending him. You have a battle right now with half the league feeling that way and half the league like, hey, we're billionaire businessmen, first generation. We know how this gets done. It's about the long game, not about counting pennies. So it, it's a big deal. you make your money in, in over, like, over the long haul, Correct. right? Like over the long haul, you don't, you know, 4.8%, 4, 4 you know, if you're making 500 million, that's still yeah. a lot of money. It's good dough. It's not like you're like, oh, but you're pinching pennies over there. Yes. Right? So, I mean, you're making 5% on 500 million. It's $25 million. There's a good battle going on Which behind is nice. the scenes. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.